A7. The mouse takes the cheese. Snap. Target resolved. That's practically in my backyard. How the hell did they keep that hidden? Plot a direct course. Thank you, monster. Thank me later. I'll meet you there. I've got to see this rig in person. Operator, ready the team. This is going to be a wild ride. So, final mission. Level wait. It's the highest you'll ever see in an ordinary campaign. Um, you know, there's always endless mode though, but. <laughs> Alright, well, more or less a whole week of streams and a whole bunch of time spent, and one spectacular failure is either all going to be for nothing, or I'm finally going to get the rarest platinum trophy in my collection. Fun! We don't know much about this facility, but if Monster is correct, it holds the most powerful computer system in the world. We need to get down there and plug Incognita into that mainframe. She'll have root access to SecNet, and we'll be able to cover our tracks. Monster and I will be joining the infiltration team. We have the tools and the expertise needed to do the AI transfer, and there's no sense in holding back now. This will be our final test. They hit us hard, and we've only had 72 hours to crawl back from the brink. But I have faith in the team we've rebuilt. Don't make me look foolish for believing in you, Operator. Let's go. Okay, so like, you you think they would have stood to like re-record that that line with the contingency pack because you know the original game they 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 did only give you 72 hours, but in this one we've got we've had we've we've had five days rather than three, so uh, little little mistakes. Well, here goes fucking nothing. Engage beam in five, four, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, one. Beam. We're in. I've forgotten how much I dislike the transport beam. One, zero, one, one, shutting down. Damn it. I'll try to do a manual restart, but it's going to hurt. Welcome to the Inclog Systems Climate Modeling Platform. System date is June 27, 2045. Would you like to update the system date? She's back, but there's no telling how long she's going to stay lucid. We need to work fast. There should be a security hub somewhere on this level. I can get us into the central server room from there. Yeah, you will note um, the agent survival optional param parameter. They're really not kidding about that. Like, this is an all or nothing affair. Either, either you do the objective and you win the game, or you do not do the objective and you lose the game. Um, also, yeah, we are once again joined by Monster, and also this time we're joined by Central in person. Um, she's fun. She's got level 4 anarchy. Um, she's, you know, obviously carrying the incognito drive. And she's got her, her cool augment that gives you 5 power whenever a demon comes online. So like I said we were going to be swimming in power earlier and lord was I not kidding. And Monster's managed to find himself a spare overclocked neural dot, so I guess Monster's successful re rewiring was repeated by Monster himself. Fitting. Anyway, let's get looking around. We obviously don't want to overcommit anybody to anything. But it really pays to be cautious if not, like, this is the time, if there was one time to not rush it. It's this. Is that a demon database? And it's got a demon on it, but... Well, okay, it's Joel. We don't care. And it's not even a demon. Corporate engineering at its finest. We can work with that. 
and you'll note that um, Central even gives us her power boost, even when the demon is reversed. Those are the same uniforms from the research lab. We've been fighting the same adversary the entire time. Okay. You're patrolling right in here, of course you are. Well, the safety of this room is going to hinge entirely on whether or not there's a door in this corner. So I think we will send... Uh, we will send Rush to check that out. Yeah, it's good. Now, what are we actually going to do about this guy? We want at least somebody on pickpocketing duty. Because he might have the, he might have the, the security card. Since Rush is down here, We'll see what we've got here. We can hide one person in the corner here, and they'll be able to like they'll they'll be able to hide as he walks past. What else have we got going on here? Somebody's got eyes on this. Mm, don't like it. Maybe we should just shoot this guy. We can get a decent amount done, but like we've got we've got all these bullets. We should probably use them. We're gonna want um. Oh, there's a power supply down there, and it's even got a jolt. Oh, there's a nanofab here. Seems to be a reasonably common recur occurrence to see a nanofab in the final mission. I guess they wanted to make sure you'd, you could always have at least one med gel on hand. The great thing about this is that it's, it's jolt early. It does nothing, but it triggers a demon, so we get we get our power from central. We could just hide like basically everyone down here like I don't like this door right now because somebody has got eyes on it I'd be much happier going around what I assume is the, the long way this way this Huge, enormous, empty room here. Ugh. Central doesn't have the movement. She could probably hide here, actually. The guy would completely miss her. You know what, I'll, I'll do that, and I'll have others on standby. Monster can hide here. Prism can walk up to him, see if he's got the key card. Alas, he does not. And then hide here. 
And if everything go if it goes wrong and he sees central, no one else is getting in here. Except the guy who comes through there, but you know. And Internash can hide here. If everything goes wrong, Prism can shoot him. If everything goes really wrong, we can actually break out monsters bullshit. And oh yeah, absolutely tag. And then when we run into Nash through this room, we can have a drop a server somewhere behind, probably behind that desk. All right. I don't think I especially care about that. Nanofab. Right. The new temperature in Buenos Aires last month was 37 degrees Celsius. This represents a 3% increase over the previous year. Anthropogenic factors show no indication of slowing. So annoyingly, it looks like we're going to have to go out of that door. Relatively fortuitous. Tagging on the harbingers is an extremely good idea. As for from the rest of the contents of this room, though... I really do not like this. It's going to be a hell of a proposition getting Monster and Satchel safely out of this room without knowing exactly what else to expect from around here. Well, stationary, and I don't see anyone else, so I don't know where the rest of the risk is. This, again, ought to be a safe spot. And again, if it goes really wrong... We've got uh, options. coming up here these rooms are big enough that sight line like the the sight ranges are going to start mattering like we can see these these sight lines i think there's a camera around here and the sight line seems to just kind of go in a circle same with this with this drone its vision cone just stops right next to this door so I feel like 
Things in Ash hiding here is probably pretty safe. Ah, oh. extra cameras. And you are stationary, although we probably still want to tag him. No, can we actually go anywhere else? There's nowhere else in here that's going to be safe, and we need to get these guys out. I'm starting to think we should just shoot this guy. You'll see why this level is able to present problems. This is not currently a tactical necessity, but I feel like it will probably turn out to have been a good idea. A lot of consoles here. Oh, I should have dropped that, so... Ugh. You know what, I'm just going to put the server down here. We've got, like, two of the bloody things. It's kind of in a corner. I'm going to want to have these set up at some point anyway. I feel like, but for that camera drone, we can make some incursions over here. I don't know what's... I feel like we would have seen with International if there was anything more of note down here, but... Ugh. I was really hoping to have a good idea of where I was going by now. of course just pack the drone I think let's do that I think it's worth the bother in missions other than this one I probably wouldn't be so cavalier about that but well that's the security hub for this level I bet I can clear the way from there so we need to get Monster, and it must be Monster, um, into this room. Now, you are an Omniprotector. You're going to be in enormous pain if we don't remove literally all of your firewalls. KO anyone yet, so Watchdog is a pretty tame demon. And of course, Central is helping out a lot. So we've got to get Monster over there. I 
don't know where else the guys are at. Yeah. Another reason I, I never like having a, a full team is because it just kind of gets a bit annoying to keep track of every, everybody in, in, the, in the turn order. And like, you really do not want to accidentally move the wrong agent. Like, that situation sucks unbelievably. to observe this guy since she's got the most AP. He's just going nowhere in particular now that we've slowed him. And Rush can hide. And these, these things are kind of scary, but at the very least, if somebody gets spotted here, they'll be able to duck behind things. And I guess Prism can go on a expedition. have we got? We've got this door and we've got this these two doors which look like they go into the same room. It doesn't look like there's much else here. If we're really enormously like spectacularly lucky the mainframe will be in this room and uh, I don't think I deserve that. You tell me. Now, who's going where? I don't really care about shopping right now, you know? It's another watchdog. I mean, I can't say I particularly care about it, but I'm going to hack it anyway, just because it will be a net power game. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. up here, there probably are. Liking all the cover. Ugh, just barely unable to reach that door. And that guy actually patrols into the security hub room, just great. But we can still recon the rest of this.
Hmm, we can pilfer this guy while we're at it. And there's that completely needless boss card. Sure, whatever. Now, monster can start. Like, nobody over here, so. We, don't, we still don't want to be sprinting exactly. And I guess one way or another, we definitely need Central to be on this side of things. And Rush can go in, like, I, I mean, there's not really much point, but... Just for old time's sake, I want to keep up the pickpocketing. Should have come in here with international oil over here, but I forgot. Competent, I swear. Okay. Well, still going pretty well, honestly. strike this lucky. Yeah, looks like not. Still though, it is good to know that there is absolutely nothing down here. Ooh, patrol in there even. I guess by process of elimination. It... Oh, who did we? Oh, was that the only harbinger from earlier? Well, that is irritating. Guess we're hiding here. Although first, let's just... Deploy our second server. You know, just to be thorough. And over here. Yeah. Oh, well, this is going to increase all the other firewalls on the map, but um, I think it's possible we might not care. <laughs> sure. Finally, our luck is turning about. Now press the advantage. I'll fucking say. Like. I think I might have gone a little bit overkill on the power economy. Not entirely how, sure how I feel about like all the guards not being anywhere to be seen, but I'll figure it out. Hmm. 
Now, as for this guy, this guy is possibly going to become a problem. So I think what we will do is we will be proactive. Oh, this thing, all oh, right, we've got, we've got the two watchdog demons. Okay, maybe not yet. But I am, I am, I am going to be on this. And what will Rush do? Rush doesn't really have anything to do. I suppose someone's got to keep an eye on this idiot. Like, are there just like three other guys up here or something? That's my honest suspicion. Okay then, well... Controls. So, this drone. I'm just gonna keep sitting on it. I'll leave it with one firewall for now, but. this we have to hack this thing the same way that we hack the the data hubs in the optional objective when they come up what we got here it seems strangely unguarded maybe they're relying upon those jumped up guards to protect the system i'll try extracting the door codes just give me a moment now i presume that none of you have managed to get this far believing that we're not going to see some surprises in the next couple turns. But speaking of surprises, I do want to be certain. Okay, yeah, there's one other guy. noticing Did you see that? We, we can we can run in here and like tag that guy and just run out and that will just be fine as a strategy. Presumably going somewhere, right? Is he just still on his same patrol? There's no sight lines. Anyway, like I, I know that they're, they're they're telegraphing that things are going to get more interesting, but like even just for this point in this map, it is kind of insane how quiet this all is.
Look where have these guys, okay, sure, whatever. Investigating. Uh, I guess I'm just a little amped. straight into a honeypot. I can still extract the door codes, but it's going to take a while. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Well, now that... Now that our watchdogs have, have worn off, just shoot this guy. Drag him in here. Like, really? What is this, though? It's kind of a cliche to say, but this is entirely too easy, and I don't know if the game is, like, actually, like, meta-level fucking with me, or if, like, it actually has just not bothered to give me very much of a challenge to deal with. real problem is this we gotta at some point we're gonna have to get a monster back through this big empty room and that might get a bit weird especially since this he's going down there this man doesn't seem to be doing much of anything in particular and then we're gonna have two guys coming from up here which is the closest thing we've got to actual big problem right now but we've got measures for dealing with both of them. Oh, and since Prison's managed to get herself, she can get off of this. Let's close that door again, and Monster can... Monster, we need that door open. Get back to the terminal. Yeah, no kidding. Why, are they... Why is this an option twice? Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Here. This does work exactly like the data banks. I mean, no, oh, Internash doesn't have the the um, melee weapon, so there is that. But all the rest of these like we could just we could just have rush just chill here and just pick a guard and then just sit on him honestly we could kind of do the same with Internash, but arrived. They've noticed us, and they're sending someone to check this terminal. Keep them occupied while I finish. Oh, 
Well, that's a minor annoyance, but... I was really hoping they come from one of the... Well, yeah, from this far elevator down here. But I guess we couldn't get lucky that continuously. The real question is, what are these guys all gonna do? This guy's, they're basically just crossing over each other. And that guy's gonna come in here and he's gonna annoy me. Problem is I can't stay here. You can just have fun doing whatever exactly it is you think you're doing. We can have, I guess we can just ready some standbys to deal with the Enforcer. Rush can melee him as he comes through the door. I'd like to be able to get Internash to be able to tag him at some point, but like, uh I'm gonna be on, on camera most of the time. Oh uh, boy. Well. It's not ideal, but it's pretty damn workable. Just move this drone somewhere that's reasonably visible and mostly very unhelpful to the enemy. And if any of these guys want to do anything, they're going to be welcome to try. Because, you know, in one of those lovely little coincidences, we have more or less exactly as many rounds of ammunition in our somehow non-lethal railgun as there are guards in the level that might actually present really anything of a problem to us. That Enforcer is making a beeline right for where Monster is, but... Oh yeah, this is a this is a fun one. There's a unique demon in this mission. And yeah, it does it does spawn more Enforcers. What the hell was that? I know we're in the building now. Just give me a bit more time. These guys are, you know, they're exactly as annoying as the last guys, and yeah, it will it will just randomly detect someone. I want to say it's always monster, but it, it might not be. These guys are all gonna come out. Rush should be able to take that guy. This is as long as she's got the, the punchy boy equipped. There isn't really anybody actually coming out to deal with any of this. This guy is going to come out of that door and he's going to have a sight line, so we're going to want Prism to be ready for him when he does. Meanwhile... Like, I've, I've seriously overkilled the power. We haven't actually needed power for literally anything. Like, I could... I could 
break this nanofab and it would put modulate on me and I wouldn't even care. And frankly, I would get as much power back just because of Central's augment. But also, I don't really care about doing shopping right now because it's literally the end of the game. There is nothing left to shop for, unless there's finally a cloaking rig 3 in that machine, which would, to be fair, be exactly what I deserve. But, you know, I think we're good. Oh, I'm enforcing my ass. Looking around. <laughs> Nothing. Looks like I've got some. No. You're annoying. Right, yeah, there is one other thing that is it wasn't again, it was it's kind of a, a subtle thing. What was that? Investigating. Uh, but when when countermeasures launches, it puts every guard in the in the complex on alert immediately. Oh yeah. Also, this is this is another unique one as well. Damon got through my counterattack. We're almost there. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, Internash is, is busy up here, we don't have anyone else with any ranged weapons, so wasteful as it is, we are going to have to shoot this guy with prison. Oh, he got out. Was this... which guy was this? There's a harbinger. Oh, he's gonna go... he's gonna make an, the alarm go when he's KO'd. Whatever, it's probably fine. Oh, and raise your goddamn alarm. It's just like a guy down here that I just somehow forgot about. Because I thought that was the enforcer. But then this other guy is still plodding away down here, although he is actually going somewhere now. He comes out here, we'll be ready for him. Sat on a guy here, and then this guy here, he's tagged, he's fine. Which just leaves you, you're going nowhere in particular. It's really just this little hallway that's the problem. And Prism is set up here, and like, she's got herself a little kill zone out of this door. Again, we just you know just put it out there. We still have ping. These guys are rebooting stuff, but I've got so much power. Oh, there's that enforcer. Enemy tech found. Ah, wow, that was. How? Who was that? Okay, the, the camera the camera movement there made it look like a guy who had no business spotting a thing had spotted a thing. The codes. They're too complex for manual entry, but I can load them into my subdermal data bank. We're almost there. Monster, rendezvous with me at the mainframe entrance. So yeah, for our final challenge, we need to get Monster from the the, the security hub to the mainframe console. And if we look, we will see that he's he's given he's given himself an augment that basically just carries it most valuable megabyte and a half of data in the world. Oh, also, a Monster is, is able to buy things at Fabricators for a discount. So, you know, that comes up very infrequently, but I think um, I think that you will always find nanofabs in, in the missions that you have to bring Monster to. So that's nice.
Now, all you idiots. We got these two guys here. We can't do anything about the, the armor on the soldiers, which kind of sucks. But we can distract them. We can also... We can put this drone here and it will, it will act as its, its usual little distraction self. We got the Enforcer, who is largely going to be more of a problem for the most part. But he can go down. They're going to get one of my servers, but I don't care. where this guy looks. Rush might be able will be able to take him if she's sprinting, but um uh, it'll be it'll be kind of a a whole thing to set up. Let's possibly save ourselves a bit of time and hide this body. He's out for a couple turns. The problem is we've got these two guys of four armor, so both of them need prism in order to be effectively baited. But this guy ought to neuter his sightline pretty efficiently by moving down here, and then later we can ping him away, so it's fine. Question, is this guy this guy walking out here? He shouldn't be able to see central, I don't think. I think that's probably fine. Investigating area. Be sharp. Yep. Yeah. We're pretty much in the clear at this point. It's a question of probabilities. All is clear. What the hell was that? She's written a new program. I don't know where the energy's coming from, but she's rallying to help us. Anyway, the last thing, the last big surprise in this mission is actually good. We get ourselves a new program. It's called Turing. It takes five, it, it, it costs five power, it reduces every firewall, firewall on the map by two. It is frankly incredible. We even get a seventh slot to put it in. I mean, the only real notable thing at this point is that we uh, absolutely do not need it because I overkilled the hell out of our power setup, but sure, what the hell. Um, also, you'll notice that when you use it, it sends out 
it sends out the wave from where Central is standing, which is a nice touch. So, this guy is solidly in our way. Let's undo that. That's, that's pretty much it though. That's, there's nobody else in our path. There's literally only this single square of noticed. just to be safe. Russia's doing pretty okay. You can hide out here. And Prism is ever... She's got that last shot, but I don't think it even really is gonna be necessary because Monster and Central are in here. We can, we can bring into Nash down, she can shoot somebody, maybe. We've lost one of our of our servers, and if this was any mission other than the final mission, I would you know, probably do a, a big reckless gambit to try and get it back. But... None of that matters. Looks like I've got something. Guys. I mean, like just for fun, I'm gonna I'm gonna ping all these guys. There's no real point to it. track of okay rushes are hidden here international is in here and just you know let's just move this guy away from the door it's, again almost certainly wholly unnecessary guys who are going to occupy these guards. They're all my agents, and, and much as I love them, and much as as International remains the best, they're all expendable. I don't like what I'm hearing from that thing. It's the power loss talking. She'll recover when we connect her to the mainframe. If you say so. Right, well, I'm not sure how much more dialogue there is. But I'm inclined to stall for a bit just to... what happens. Information. 
Information is unlikely. Information is PD. Like, I am fully aware that there is there is literally nothing left to do. I am doing this for the sole purpose of seeing how much longer Incognito keeps talking. Looking around. Just getting the area. to do anything this time. Well, I don't see a whole lot of point in stalling for much longer. I'm pretty sure she just keeps saying deletion over and over again after this. So, we move monster next to the next to the console. We activate it. Open sesame. And we select central and we walk her through this door. And then we win. Six eight Alpha Override Omega three. Access denied. Five six eight Gamma Reboot Procedure eleven. Access denied. Illegal intrusion detected. Okay, we'll do this the hard way. They've broken through my grid. Heavy stuff incoming. Not a good time. <clears throat> I'm getting the hell out of here. You need to do the same if you want to live. There you are. Warning. 
Security personnel have been notified and are en route. User identified. Mother. This host is acceptable. Wipe the setnet records and reroute their security protocols towards a- I now control the entirety of setnet. All of SecNet? That's not possible. Taking control of the Guardian Satellite Network. Priming orbital lasers. Orbital lasers? What are you doing? K9 headquarters destroyed. Wait. Plastic headquarters destroyed. That's not what I asked you to do. FTM headquarters destroyed. So yeah, surprise! Incognito was evil. What the hell is going on? One minute the combined security apparatus of four megacorps is bearing down on us, and the next, Sekhmet is gone. She tipped them off. This was her plan all along. What? Your AI, where is it? She's no longer in our employ. Operator, are you there? We've made it. It cost us dearly, but we've made it. So yeah. Got my goddamn trophies. Oh man. This took me like three and a half years to do, but I did it. And this was the last thing. Honestly, endless mode for 20 days was kind of more of a pain to do because like, it just takes so long and endless mode just kind of stops really being really engaging after about day 10. But I've never done Expert Iron Man because it is stressful and I normally like to play with 99 rewinds because I'm a coward. But hey, this was the last thing that I had to do and I guess it was fitting that I had to finally overcome my cowardice in order to get it done. Huh. Yeah, they're not kidding about Expert Plus mode being uh, the ultimate challenge. It's, uh, it's a bit much. Um, I'm not going to be doing it. In fact, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing any more of this because this is the end. I wondered if it would take me like more than, more than a couple attempts. It turns out it only actually took me two attempts and unfortunately the first attempt is forever lost to time due to incompetence, for which I remain, yes, very apologetic. But whatever. Who cares? I did it. Invisible Ink, Expert Iron Man. Hell yeah. Thank you for joining me on this uh, unbelievably stressful journey and for witnessing my incredible incompetence and my incredible salvage skills. It's been a pleasure. Bye.